Hey Brawlers, it's Ventus Knight here, answering your most popular request by far. Today we are unboxing... Dragonoid Ultra! 3, 2, 1, BAM! Here he is in all his glory. You guys recently got a great look at him at the New York Toy Fair. He is coming out in Wave 3, the next wave of Bakugan, releasing early this spring, very, very soon. And he is looking fantastic. He is the newest, biggest form of our main Bakugan boy. The all-time classic Dragonoid himself. And he is looking fantastic in this single pack. He is a normal Bakugan Ultra, so you can get him all by himself. Don't have to get him in a tri triple pack. Don't have to get him in a battle pack. You can just get normal Dragonoid Ultra by all by himself here. Uh, on the back, you can see, of course... That he has the leap open Baku action as he is a Bakugan Ultra. So let's not wait any longer. I certainly can't. I have never had my hands on a true proper Dragonoid Ultra before. And I cannot wait to see what it's like to hold him. So let's take this guy out of the box right here. Let me know in the comments which Bakugan you want to see us unbox next. I have a bit of an idea. I have something in store myself. But if you guys request somebody else, then I will certainly do it. Because Dragonoid Ultra was definitely your most popular request. Here's Dragonoid in his little blister here. And of course, each Bakugan does come with two Baku cores to use them with. Their character card and an ability card. So let's see what uh, what cards Dragonoid Ultra comes with. Let's check out these stats. He has 500 B power and he has 5 damage rating. No way! This guy's pretty strong. Wow. Plus he can use Magic Shield and Flaming Fist. The flat out stronger versions of Shield and Green Fist. Wow. Wow. I'm not sure Dragonoid Ultra has any evolutions available yet. But once he does... This is going to be one guy to watch out for. So here's his character card outside of the plastic wrap. You can see he is Battle Brawlers series, so he is releasing in Wave 3. We are unboxing an international version of Dragonoid Ultra, it seems. So we don't have uh, an English version of the card, but this is the Implosion card. Sorry about that, guys. But we can see, of course, Dragonoid Ultra is Dragonoid Ultra. It doesn't matter what language those cards are in. So uh, the international versions of the Bakugan that we're releasing, don't worry if you come from a country that's not America or Canada. You will be getting Bakugan soon. Uh, the international versions come with three different cards, each with three languages each on them, so that we can release them in various countries, and everybody who buys the Bakugan will understand what's going on. We want to make sure everybody can play Bakugan, no matter where they are in the world. So even though you might be getting it at a different time than America or Canada or another country that you know is getting Bakugan soon, don't worry, Bakugan is coming to a store near you sometime this year. <laughs> That's all I can really say. So we're taking Dragonoid Ultra out of the blister here, and man, he is looking good. Let's do a quick little 360 here. Wow. He's got so much detail on him. Those green highlights on the knees are really popping to me. This massive tail. Perfect for a tail crusher. That's what I'm thinking. But Let's make sure to bring out these arms. They are some cool little manual parts here. They're tucked all the way up here, and you bring them all the way down. Or, if you don't want to bring them all the way down, you can kind of do this. And hey, he looks cool like that, too. I really like that about the manual parts. You can position them. They're kind of like little action figures. You can really make the Bakugan's poses your own, especially with the double-jointed uh, manual parts like Neelius Ultra and Pegatrix Ultra have. If you don't know about Pegatrix Ultra's double joints, then make sure to check out our previous Tuesday unboxing video, because Tuesday is now our unboxing day, where we'll be taking an awesome up-close look at upcoming Bakugan that you guys might not have had a good look at yet. So here is some more Dragonoid Ultra, now that his arms are all folded out. He is looking fantastic. I especially love that white deco that they use for his teeth. That's a pretty cool touch, in my opinion. You look at the inside panels for his wings, that is some awesome coloring going on. There's some really cool detail, we love seeing you guys customize your Bakugan, keep on sending us pictures. People are doing some cool panel lining where they take pens, they take paint, and they really pop out those details that the designers put on the Bakugan. So make your Bakugan your own, as long as you aren't hiding the faction, as long as you aren't repainting this Pyrus Dragonoid Ultra to make it look exactly like a Darkest one. We love seeing what you guys do, because you and your Bakugan, 
Your connection is essential to winning the battle. So make them your own. Make them your own. Make them cooler than your friends. It's all about looking cool, at least to me. Let's see uh, how this guy kind of folds up. His wings have some cool uh, action here. This big, chunky boy on his back is his magnet as an Ultra Bakugan. He's got an irregularly shaped magnet, and that's looking like a pretty good landing pad to me. His tail is really, really cool. When he stands, his tail actually supports him so that he doesn't fall over. So Dragonoid Ultra stands very, very, very well. And let's uh, bring out the instructions that every Bakugan comes with to find out how to open him up. Or sorry, how to close him up. But before we do that, let's take out the Baku cores and see how strong they are. Flaming Fist comes with 250 B power and 3 damage rating, quite powerful. And Magic Shield comes with 650 B power, the strongest Magic Shield released so far. On par with Pegatrix Ultras that we saw last week. Dragonoid Ultra is looking to be a pretty powerful Bakugan to me. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments though, guys, because you guys are always coming up with some pretty interesting strategies yourselves. Uh, the instructions for folding up Dragonoid Ultra should be right here. Let's see how you do it. First, you're going to want to fold up those manual parts, of course, and then you uh, swing in the legs, you fold up the knees, you fold down the head, you bring the tail all the way around like Garganoid, and then you bring in the wings. All right, so those of you familiar with Garganoid should have a pretty easy time. Dragonoid Ultra is only a level 2, so he shouldn't be the hardest Bakugan to close out there. Let's try that again. Fold in the legs. Bring in the knees. Bring down the head. Then fold in the tail. Close. Fold down this back part. Slam. And then you fold in the wings to seal them up. Kind of tuck the wings under that back part. And boom! Dragonoid Ultra is successfully all folded up. Here is what Dragonoid Ultra's Baku Ball form looks like. I believe this is where you should be rolling him along. Let's see where that arrow is pointing. The arrow points, yeah, the arrow points this way. So this is how Dragonoid Ultra rolls. He is looking really cool. I love how the details on his wings really pop, especially the orange. Wow. This is Dragonoid's true form right here. Of course, every Bakugan Ultra opens differently. They come with the leaping Baku action, those powerful springs. That's what makes a Bakugan Ultra truly Ultra. So let's get some awesome opening action to finish up this unboxing. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment letting us know what you want us to unbox next week on our weekly Tuesday unboxings. And of course, good luck in your next Bakugan Brawl!